to the flag of the United States of America and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Strictly adhere to the three minute rule. Um, the last meeting was, um, I, I thought that the um, adrenaline level was pretty high, so I let s some of the comments go quite a long time. And uh, in retrospect, um, that was, may have been a mistake, I don't know, because there was a number of people after the meeting that were. Can you speak into the microphone, you please? Me, yeah.
I've seen this about four minutes ago. Well, and I do have some comments about it. But you have it in a minute. Yeah. The purpose of the, uh, the meeting tonight is to hear public uh, comment, and not necessarily to uh, expound on, on that, but I think it's been stated that that was passed out to the board members and to the audience members moments ago and, and did not come from the board. I think beyond that, you can say, uh, you can speak to it as much or as little as you as you want, but I think that puts it into context. Would you please go over it? It came from Dollar. Dollar. Um, I guess. Diane, get up there and tell him what to do. <laughs> the truth. I think it's good. Um, this is just my take on this from some information that I've gotten from the budget and stuff. It just, for me, it's better if I see something written down. So it just explains that the millage we collected for 2018 for the police village was $90,425.34. And on that, it was 3,211 parcels it took to do that. And the police budget actually spent for 2018-19 was $170,129.92. And our fiscal year <coughs> end is March 31st of 2019. So it just ended. So this is what the um, revenue and expense report reflects. And so if you take that, the general fund supplemented the police budget $79,704.58 for the 2018-2019 budget year. So the millage collected on, it was $90,425.34. If you divide that by 3,211 parcels, that's an average of $28.16 per parcel. Now you have to remember that when we collect a millage, the millage is collected on personal property and real property. And so to collect the same amount that the millage provided to us by special assessment, we have to divide that by the district parcels of 2,631, which the district parcels are going to be less than the total parcels we have because the district is only on improved properties in the township and not every property in the township. And so it would take $34.37 to collect that much money. And by going to special assessment versus a millage, there are 580 less parcels to collect from. As you can see, you take the 3,211 minus the 2,631 gives you 580. As I said, there will be less parcels to collect from because personal property is eliminated and the vacant parcels are eliminated from the collection of the special assessment. So in the proposed special assessment amount of $115, which was in the motion um, last time, and if you multiply that by the parcels that we're going to collect on, that will raise $302,565. The proposed police department budget for, for the 1920 was $262,848. And that come from that sheet that some of you had um, had gotten earlier and stuff. But as you know, during the budget process, we approved a budget for the 2019-20 at $174,000. Which, as you can see, was just a few dollars more than what we actually spent this year. So, um, them two numbers are about the, the same there. So for the proposed special assessment to cover the, um, cover the amount that was spent for last year, which is the $170,129, it would take $64.66 a special assessment to all improved properties to generate that much revenue. So that the police department would be self-funded that way, and we wouldn't have to take anything out of the general fund to supplement it. And so these were just some numbers, like I say, I was just putting together just to help everybody understand where we're at with that. 
points of information. This is completely different than one you handed out at the hall for 2018-19. You hand out two different budgets. You hand out all kinds of different numbers. Now, yep. that number you have in front of you there is the 262-848 on the bottom, correct, Bob? 2018-19. No, that's the 2018-19, not 2019-2020. You hand, you, and you hand out budgets with two different oh, figures well. on it? You hand out, you're, we're trying to confuse no, no. this issue. Okay. Obviously, there was a typo on the top oh, of that. Oh, yeah. I asked the secretary. Typo right up there. No wonder they're asking for more money. They don't know what they're doing. <laughs> Amen. Points of information, Mr. Supervisor. Okay, you're out of order. Points of information, Mr. Supervisor. Um, how long, um, it doesn't say on here how long um, the assessments, I know you said it's up to 15 years, but how long are you proposing? No, we didn't. You said 10 years. No, I didn't hear you say 10 years. I'm sorry. I got it on video. Um, is it subject to increase? Like I said, before, they want. I just saw this. I don't have any way of going back and checking the numbers or referring to any numbers. So I'm going to have to do this off the top of my head. Can I go here? Can you stop that? No. You're not telling the truth up there. Here we are, right again. I'm telling you the exact truth. I go to all the meetings. What? Explain to them that you can't be successful and be recognized we're going to be escorted out of the auditorium. She's running the show again. All right. I said I was going to have some comments, and I'm going to start. Down at the bottom, some clarification. And whether you believe me or not, I can't deal with that. I'm going to tell you the damn truth. No swearing. No swearing. The darn truth. All right? I have to control my Italian genes at times. Yeah. I'm trying to keep my hands from playing. Okay? We all just get along so much. Sound a little racist. Down on the bottom, where it says uh, 2019 slash 2020, but that was one of three proposals that we reviewed during our budget process. That was the lowest of the three because we were debating how much service would be necessary to provide police coverage to the township with the current amount of activity that we're having. That was the lowest of the three proposals by the chief. The next line, it says approved budget. That number is the number that we had to cut down to to try to balance the budget. That number reflects the cuts that we made in the police department to get to a balanced budget. It's got the bare minimum that we could get by until we could come up with a more permanent funding source. During that budget process, we debated all types of levels of service for the township and discuss what was needed. There was a, during the discussion, there was a low number, around a hundred, about $50, 45, something like that. A high number of 165 or 175 to give 24 seven coverage. During that budget process, it was decided that that number was too high. We came up in those few years, the last hearing, there was two or three 
motions. The number fluctuated at that last hearing to set the amount between 100 and 125, which was much lower than what is required to fund a 24-7 police department and what we have now, because we know we needed more hours of service, more patrol hours. <coughs> so, what our proposal for this assessment role is, it gives us a, about three quarters of 100% coverage, roughly speaking. And that's the number that the board decided on, $115. And that number is 32 cents a day, $9.60 a month, which is less than what any of you are paying to have your garbage for. I heard a lot of people at the last hearing say they support the police, but they don't necessarily support the special assessment district. When you say you support the police, how much do you support the police, and how much are you willing to spend to support the police? Art, when you Look Amen. at each one of you, you've got each one of you got to decide whether or not it's worth nine dollars and sixty cents a month to improve and maintain the police department that we have. What about the fire department? You're gonna come back. Fire excuse, excuse me, Mr. Fortino. We're about putting it to, to jump, a vote. To jump in, one of the rules of the public hearing is that there is not supposed to be a dialogue. It's not fair to the people who wish to give their opinion for certain members to, to ask questions. I would urge the board, please hear the comments. Uh, and there will be a time for board member comments uh, later on. But to engage in the back and forth, we're going to be here all night. Amen. And the only other thing I, I think that bears noting um, <clears throat> to try to clarify this again. Every board member on here has their own opinions about this special assessment, and whether it's a good idea or it's a bad idea. The, the sheet that has so far taken up 20 minutes of this meeting uh, is Mr. Dowler's uh, numbers and his, his statement. So for folks to suggest that it's the board and somehow the board is passing around different numbers simply isn't, isn't accurate. Um, so, with that being said, maybe we can get back to the special assessment rule as prepared and, and hear people's comments to it in order. It is accurate. Okay. That's all I've got to say. So, I'll repeat it again, what the purpose of this hearing is. A public hearing to hear the objections to the distribution of the levy. You know what that means? No, okay, explain no. it. Why don't you tell us? Yeah. It means the amount that's going to be distributed to each parcel, improved parcel in the township, i.e. $150. So, other comments related to histrionics, personal attacks, any of that stuff, we're going to really out of order, and that's it. Keep your comments to the purpose of the meeting. You don't want to hear this. No, you don't. Another deal, Kings Township, and okay, I guess I'm objecting to the, um, the <laughs> I forgot the name, what you just said. I'm objecting to the role, the tax role that you're doing in the process tonight. Distribution. Yeah. And I did object last meeting. I take it this is a different objection. I wasn't sure. I wasn't clear on it. So I do want, I guess, 
to make sure that my objection is part of the part of the record. And the only uh, point of information I have other than my objection is last meeting there was a vote by the board that proceeded. Um, I guess it was a vote to proceed with the process, and there was mention of exemptions, and I believe on your actual figure of 90,425.34, I don't see where it talks about exemptions. So hopefully that didn't get left out because there are exemptions that we said as part of the motion. Maybe one mill 
you know, do it that way, Amen. but give us the right to vote. That's what we want. It's Amen. not an assessment. Thank you. Amen. That's what they want. should force you to do that, but we shouldn't even have to do this type of thing to make that happen, in my opinion. Chad Pack 7265 Nichols Road. I appreciate your time. Thank you. Give it to him, Sue. assessment roll without a ballot vote of the people. Amen. As announced, MCL 41.801 is the law that the Township Board is using for the special assessment. Section 1.3 of this law states, 
The question of raising money by special assessment may be submitted to the electors of the township by the township board at a general election or special election. The question, the question to put on the ballot of raising money by special assessment must be submitted by the township board if in the township the owners of 10% of the land made to, the, to be made into a special assessment district petition the township board. That petition was filed today with the township, so you must, by law, put this question on the ballot for us to vote on. It has been mentioned that the board wishes this assessment to be put on the summer tax bill. Section 1.4 of this law states, the assessment must be distributed and must become due and collected at the same time as other township taxes are assessed, levied and collected. On our summer tax, July 1st property tax bill, there is only two taxes collected, the school education and county operating. The township do not collect any taxes on the summer tax bill, so you cannot levy the special assessment on that bill. You can only levy on the winter bill. The supervisor has previously stated that the special assessment district is a township-wide district, including the village, and will only be levied against improved properties within the township. Nowhere in this law does it say that only improved properties can be levied against. In fact, it says quite the opposite. Section 17 of this law, a special assessment imposed under this act must be levied on all properties within the special assessment district established pursuant to this act. Again, no improved properties, it says. You can pick and choose which properties you are going to be levied and the ones you are not. But you can't do that. It says you must be levied on all properties. At the March 13th hearing, 97% of the people wanted their right to vote and set the cost. The supervisor and treasurer have given their reasons for not giving the people the right to vote. Number one, the treasurer said she doesn't think that the proposal would pass if voted on by the people. So don't allow us to vote. You now have a petition filed with the township from owners of the land that far exceed the minimum amount of signatures required by that law that you are going by. Also, you have received at the March 13th hearing an overwhelming 500 objections against this special assessment that does not include a vote of the people. What the treasurer thinks should not outweigh what the people want. Number two, the supervisor mentioned that the elections are not free and it will cost the township about $3,500 to put the question on a ballot for the people to decide. This township has about 6,500 registered voters. That cost equates to about 55 cents per voter. The cost is not a factor in this matter. Let her talk! The people's right to vote in the right to tax themselves is... If the board imposes this charge without a vote of the people, when you have a petition filed, that means the requirements set forth in the law, but you choose to ignore it. There will be many complaints filed with the governor, the attorney general, secretary of state, Let her talk. and also a complaint filed with the bar association against the township attorney and the legal firm who have sat here, witnessed it, and did nothing. Can't handle the truth. Surprised I wasn't. Go ahead, cigarette. <laughs> I was thinking of it. That's what I'm wondering.